Hi everyone, welcome to our session today. We're going to look at how you can be able to convert your data from 2D to 3D within ArcGIS Pro. My name is Evelyn Lele. So today we just want to look at how you can be able to convert uh, data that you have in two dimension three, to 3D dimension. Of course, 3D is an integral part of, um, of the platform. You may need to visualize, analyze your data and there's the analysis that you can only do in 3D. So of course, 3D 3D is an important component. So I just want to show you how you can be able to do that. So quickly, we have uh, the data here for building footprints in Kisumu. And I'll just open the attribute table so that you can see what we have within the attribute information. So we have different um, attributes here. And most importantly, we have the height attribute that we'll use to extrude our data from 2D to 3D. So I'll come to map and then I'll insert then I'll I'll insert a new a new local scene we're using a local scene because the area that we have covers a a, a small area that's why we're using a local scene so I'll convert that to a scene so we can give it a few minutes for it to load so we're converting the 2D data that we have to 3D so I'll add the same uh, data set that we have that's the buildings for Kisumu into our scene All right, so I think, um, yes, our data has actually loaded. So I'll select, um, I'll select this particular layer that we have here and then come to appearance. And then now uh, we're going to extrude. So there are different uh, ways of extruding our data. So for this particular one, we're going to extrude based on the maximum height. So what this means is that the extrusion is added to the features maximum Z value. So we're going to use the maximum height to extrude. And then notice that in our yeah notice that in our attribute table we had the height field which is going to help us extrude the building so I'll choose height and the units are in are in meters so once that is done my buildings will be automatically extruded you can see it's actually uh, processing so we can also just give it a few minutes before that is extruded yeah so you can actually see that my my building footprints have now been extruded as you can see on the map let me just try and navigate so that we can see how that looks like yes yeah, so this is the extruded uh, building footprints so you can actually see it's quite easy it's actually very easy to extrude uh, your data from 2d to 3d within uh, within arcgis pro then the other thing that i'd want us i'd want to show you is how you can be able to link views so that you can be able to navigate uh, both the 2d and the 3d view so come to view and uh, actress pro then we have this tab here on link views so uh, when you come to view and click on link views you have two options you can either use the center or you can use the center and scale so for this particular one you're going to use the center uh, option because our data is in the same uh, location yeah, so you can see the symbol here, our views are linked. Then I can right click on any of them and add uh, a new vertical vertical tab group. Awesome. So you can actually be able to see that the 2D and the 3D layers are now can now be visualized uh, side by side. Yeah, the, the 2D and the 3D um, layouts can now be visualized side by side and that's the beauty of actually working with ArcGIS Pro. You can have both the 2D and the 3D uh, interfaces side by side and that's the beauty of working with ArcGIS Pro. So you've actually seen how you can be able to quickly convert your data from 2D to 3D. In case you have uh, any questions, feel free to drop them at the comment section. We'll be able to respond to them. Thank you for joining us today. See you in our next session.